Welcome. Back in 2016, we bought solar panels for our rooftop. Today, I want to look into the efficiency and if it was worth buying solar panels. We are living in the Kanagawa region of Japan and get electricity from TEPCO and of course also selling to TEPCO. Japan is traditionally divided into eight regions and Okinawa falls under the region from Kyushu. The electricity market in Japan is split into 10 regulated companies. As you can see here, they are divided by the regions and most of the time also distributed only in the region or the neighboring prefecture. Only Shubo I couldn't figure out, everything else seems to be okay. Moin Moin, my name is Martina, I'm living in Japan. Japan is my home because my husband is Japanese. It was always my dream to have solar panels. And back in 2016, we finally had the chance to buy these solar panels for 3 million yen, brand new. This is 10 kilowatt. We chose 10 kilowatt because we wanted a 20 year contract with TEPCO to fix the feed-in tariff for this time. If we have less than 10 kilowatt, we would only get a 10-year contract. In the past, back in June 2012, the feed-in tariff was 42 yen per kilowatt hour. Then in April 2013, the feed-in tariff was reduced to 37.8 yen per kilowatt hour. After that, they further reduced it to 32 yen per kilowatt hour back in April 2014. Well, you get the idea why we wanted a 20 year contract. Back in 2016, when we started, our fat in tariff was 24 yen per kilowatt hour. Just to give you an idea, if you have less than 10 kilowatt, rooftop solar, you would receive 31 yen per kilowatt hour with a 10 year contract. So this is from today. We are generating 4.4 kilowatt and selling 4.1 kilowatt. 0 0.3 kilowatt we are using in the moment. This is the live report and it shows a 24 hour and two weeks overview of power generation, power sales, power purchases and power consumption. The 99.2% shows the environmental contribution and self-sufficiency rate which is at 99.2%. Going back to menu and to performance overview. It is split into day, month and year and you can go backwards to see past reports. Let's see the month overview and the yearly overview or the whole year overview, the past 11 months. In 2019, the month with the highest power generation is May, closely followed by August. In 2018, July is the month with the highest power generation and then August. Two years ago, in 2017, May and July are almost equal in power generation. And in 2016, we started in October. You can switch between graph view and list view and the list view gives you more detail about everything. Let's go to information and consumption details. Okay. 
Well, it's a very simple overview. It's a little bit boring for me. So let's go back to saving targets. The light blue line on the right side in the box is the annual goal. The little blue dark box is achievement. The red box shows when you have access, also if you use too much. I find it very interesting. In 2019, we used too much electricity in four months. That is in January, February, March and August. So the first three months, of course, it's cold. And in August, we use the air conditioning which is very normal. If we look at 2018, there are also four months where we use too much electricity. Again, January, February, March and December. Well, last year we went on holiday for three weeks in August. So therefore, we didn't use so much electricity in August. In 2017, there are only two months with excess. January and December. Well, in that year I lived half of the year in New Zealand and the other half in Japan and my husband was most of the time not at home. So therefore we didn't use so much electricity. I basically was one month in Japan, one month in New Zealand. The most interesting thing is here if you go to the day on a daily basis and look on which day you used most of the electricity for example, in this case, in the month of October, last month, and you can see here how many days are red. And here this is August 2019, and you can see basically every day we used too much electricity. Let's go to power generation comparison. This is one of my favorite features. You can compare the years. You can compare months, meaning the months of August in 2019 to the months of August in 2017 or 18. I really love this feature. In this chart, I compare August 2019 to August 2018. It's interesting. Let's go to total result and conversion. This is also interesting and divided in three parts in months, year and total. Let's go to total. I translated everything so you can better follow me. Our revenue for three years is 729,000 yen. If you divide 729,000 yen by three years, you come up with 243,000 yen and you multiply this by 20 for 20 years because the contract is 20 years so I would say yes it's worth it to buy this solar rooftop <laughs> I hope you liked this video and I see you next Thursday. Tschüss!